M. Bhavika, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Sometimes customers ask me how they can put records into the Amazon Kinesis data stream using Kinesis producer library. Let me show you how you can set it up and verify that the data is being successfully pushed into the stream. The KPL is an easy to use, highly configurable library that helps you write to a Kinesis data stream. The KPL performs the following primary task, writes to one or more Amazon Kinesis data streams, with an automatic and configurable retry mechanism. Collects records and uses put records to write multiple records to multiple shards per request. Aggregates user records to increase payload size and improve throughput. Integrates seamlessly with the Kinesis client library to de-aggregate batch records on the consumer. Submits Amazon CloudWatch metrics on your behalf to provide visibility into producer performance. Before we start setting up with the KPL to push records to the data stream, please make sure that you have a running Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Linux instance. An AWS Identity and Access Management role is attached to your instance. The Amazon Kinesis Full Access Policy is attached to the instance IAM role. First, log in as the admin user in AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Amazon EC2 console. In the Amazon EC2 console, choose the instances in the left navigation pane. Choose the running public EC2 instance, which has the IAM role with Amazon Kinesis full access attached. On the top of the Amazon EC2 console, choose the connect option. The connect to your instance pop-up window appears. Copy the SSH command in the pop-up window under the example section. Make sure you navigate first to the folder wherever your private key is located before running the SSH command to connect to your Amazon EC2 instance. For example, in this case, my private key is located in downloads folder. Therefore, I performed CD downloads. Open terminal in your local machine, paste the copied SSH command in your terminal and then press enter. If you're connecting to this instance for the first time after running the command, you are asked are you sure you want to continue connecting yes or no? Type yes and press enter. Install the latest version of OpenJDK 8 developer package by running the following command. After running the command, it will ask, is this OK? Type Y and press enter. You'll see the response complete. Now confirm that Java is installed properly by running the following command. And you should get the open JDK version as the output. Next, run the following command to set Java 1.8 as the default Java provider. You are asked, Enter to keep the current selection or type selection number. Just press enter as the response. Similarly, run the following command to set Java 1.8 as the default Java C provider. You're asked, enter to keep the current selection or type selection number. Just press enter as the response in this case as well. To add a repository with an Apache Maven package, run the following command. Set the version number for the Maven packages by running the following command. Now use yum to install Maven. You can watch it running and then see the response complete once it's finished. Let's now confirm that the Maven is installed properly. You'll see Apache Maven version as the output. Install git using the following command. You're asked, is this okay? Type Y and press enter. 
Now download the KPL from the AWS Labs by running the following. So this is the Amazon Kinesis producer library that we are referring to. Navigate to the Amazon Kinesis producer sample directory using cd command. List the files in the Amazon Kinesis producer sample folder. Run ls. You'll find these four files in this folder. Readme, default config.properties, pom.xml, and src. Run the create stream API call to create Kinesis data stream. We'll give it a name Kinesis KPL demo and the number of shards are two in the region US East one. If you see unable to locate credentials, you can configure credentials by running AWS configure, then run AWS configure and enter your access key ID and access secret key, then try creating the stream following the previous step. Now run the list streams API call to confirm that the stream is created. You'll see the newly created Amazon Kinesis data stream, Kinesis KPL demo here. Next, navigate inside the SRC folder by running the following. Open the sample producer config.java file using the vi command. When the file opens, modify the stream name and the region fields. For public static final string stream name, enter the name of the Kinesis data stream that you created in the previous steps. In our case, it looks like public static final string stream name equals to Kinesis KPL demo. For public static final string region, enter the region that you are using. In our case, it looks like public static final string region equals to US East 1. Now let's just save these changes. Now let's navigate back to Amazon Kinesis producer sample directory so that the Maven can download all the dependencies. Run Maven clean package. This downloads all the Maven dependencies. After this runs, you'll see build success when it's done. Finally, run the following command in the Amazon Kinesis producer sample directory itself to execute the producer and put data into our data stream. Now let's verify whether the data is being pushed in the Kinesis data stream and how many records are put into the data stream. Open the AWS Management Console in New tab and then navigate to Kinesis Console. In the Kinesis Console, choose the data streams in the left navigation pane. Choose Kinesis KPL Demo as the data stream that we are pushing records into. Go to the Monitoring tab. Here, we check the incoming data sum count graph. This metric indicates the number of records successfully put to the Kinesis data stream, Kinesis KPL demo, over the specified time period. And the population of this graph shows that the data was successfully pushed into our data stream. However, you'll see that the record count is lower than the number of records that we are actually putting into the stream. This is because the KPL uses aggregation. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <music>